Good evening, everyone. Brennan from Starpoint Australis. Thanks for joining me this Tuesday, the week that was. Well, fantastic news. We have a win, yay. Uh, we've got confirmation that the Octans and Phoenix have finished their remanufacturing. Um, so the end of this week is going to get pretty busy for myself, um, as I'll be doing through going through all of my uh, checks and balances to make sure that everything is exactly what it needs to be. So this weekend, likely I'll be sending out an email to all of you that have pre-ordered um, just to make sure that I've got the correct um, delivery addresses, all of that jazz, uh, phone numbers and whatnot, because that's needed for uh, importing in. So keep an eye out for that email coming out. What else have we got? We've got, ah, obviously, the SP3. I've been working on furiously. Um, you'll see more of these uh, square round radius C blocky, blocky things. Um, really loving the way that the uh, everything is going together with these at the moment. So um, getting very, very close now to releasing. I'd say in the next week or two, we'll have uh, the SP3 starting to go out to their respective uh, pre-order purchases. Um, I just thought as well, every now and again, I'm going to change up what we do here so that you can see some of the different things. Um, some of you may have seen my very industrial looking focuser, the ones that you would sit there and go, that looks very backyard, but these are prototypes. So at Starpoint Australis, we go through various iterations, you could say, of our designs. And you know, anyone who's done designing and the design journey, as I call it, you know, people go, why did you do that? Well, that was just how the design journey uh, came about. So this is one of, I'd say, uh, not one of my final prototypes, but it is one of the um, pathfinders, I could say, to where we've got to with the new um, SP3 that you guys see so much. Um, that's the housing component of it. So we've been working a lot on that, um, but yeah, they're not too far away. Uh, we've also got the uh, filter wheel here um, and the off-axis guider system. And to give you an idea, so that's the off-axis guider system, works very nicely, uh, very, very stable. And um, so I'm putting together one of these will go up onto the little eight inch uh, that we've got here, but uh, I'll bring these up a bit closer so you can see. So um, off-axis guider, uh, you would have seen some in there in our earlier posts this week, but um, a locking ring um, up on the top. Who loves a bit of good knurling? I do, I really love it. And any of you machinists out there, you will love the good knurling. Um, so yeah, so this goes in here. I've got to put some screws and put some bits and pieces and other features into this one yet to make it f um, completed. Um, and I've got to chuck it on the CNC to finish off um, milling this uh, stalk out. So, you know, we'll put a slot in there for the prism mirror and then we'll turn this round into a rectangle so that it fits nicely and keeps that uh, parallel, I should say, not parallel, it's uh, right angles to the incoming Oh, my brain will work in a minute. Right angles to the incoming stream of light so that the prism can uh, drop the light up into the guide camera. So getting there pretty pretty close, you know, so you sit there, keep spinning this bad boy around. It's just locked out on the bottom. So yeah, so spinning around with this bad boy and then once you're finished and everything's good, you can just sit there and then come in and lock it in place. So. That way then the whole system stays nice and stable, nice and stiff. Um, on the top here, there's a clamp ring. So unlike a lot of the off-axis guiders that just have a little tiny, uh, like a brass clamp ring, I um, have a proper 360 degree clamp. So you put your uh, guide camera in and then on the top, you just sit there and screw it down and it squeezes out a gasket and holds everything central and concentric. Um, I find it's just a neater outcome. So keep your eye on that. We'll uh, show you the final, like the off-axis guide ring and the rest of it that'll go towards. So that should be uh, not too distant future. Other than that, um, I think that's pretty much the bulk of it. Like I said, my, my next week or two is gonna be pretty flat out. Ah, oh, sorry, I did, 
I did forget to mention my other prototypes that are coming from the second manufacturer for the Octans and the Phoenix. They're in Perth now. Um, they're coming through customs uh, as of this morning. So I should see them likely tomorrow, um, which will be good. That way then I can do a little bit more um, you know, videography of setups um, ready for all of you that have purchased. You'll be able to follow along uh, with a really clear, concise uh, way that I put these tents up. Um, obviously, I've been doing it for a little while now, so I know all the tips and tricks. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to leave it with you for that. And uh, next week, I'll give you some updates of where we got to. All right, then. Till then, have a good one. Hopefully, you've got clear skies like I've had for the last two days. I'll talk to you soon.